Dr. Sandra Godick, uh, PhD in thermoregulation and hydration from the Heat Institute, uh, recommends that you uh, mix water, sodium, and a little bit of glucose, and then sip on it about an hour prior to training, you know, for the, throughout the full hour and then throughout training. Uh, and that gives you, uh, that's the best absorption from the small intestine into the bloodstream. And right. the, the concentration matters, and I'll just give you kind of a general dosage. Take a gallon of water, and mix about 500 to 1,000 milligrams of sodium, it's personal preference. 500 milligrams is a liquid IV, so you could use two of those. Or 1,000 milligrams is an element, an element E. Uh, so you could use one of those. I'm not suggesting either, I'm just saying that those are flavored in their sodium. Uh, so it'll taste good. So get a gallon of water and add 500 to 1,000 milligrams of sodium using whatever blend you like. And then add about anywhere from 40 to 80 grams of sugar. I use dextrose, it feels better on my stomach. Uh, because there's a sodium glucose transporter that helps move uh, the carbohydrates and the salt and the water from the small intestine into the bloodstream. If you consume too much sugar, like Gatorades are actually too high in sugar, uh, then your body will actually draw water from the body into the small intestine to dilute the sugar. And you end up, it, increase, it stimulates the kidney to increase urination, which is not your goal for hydration. Same if you just drink water, you drink a ton of water by itself, especially a large volume at once, instead of sipping on it over a period of time, uh, your body will just increase its its uh, its urination. So you'll just end up peeing more and it'll start coming out clear, which is uh, a good indicator that you have diluted electrolytes that you don't want it to be clear. So that's the reason I recommend the blend is, is for ideal absorption of water, sodium and glucose not necessarily to replace all the water that you'll lose during training or all the glycogens you lose during training, but just to put you in an optimal training state so that you can give the best effort to that workout bout. If I was just to hear this today and I was getting ready to go out for a workout and I didn't have that blend, but I had water and Gatorade, could you do like water and a little bit of a Gatorade? Does that have a similar benefit or? Split it, split it half and half and add a little salt to it. Because uh, Gatorade gotcha. isn't high enough in sodium, uh, probably because it wouldn't taste very palatable if it were higher in sodium. Uh, but right. it wouldn't meet it wouldn't meet that particular concentration. So uh, that's and it's always a plus and minus to which product you use. Does it taste good? Is it high enough in sodium? Is it too high in glucose? Is, uh, but that's the mixture that I recommend, and you can uh, orchestrate that yourself. You don't drink the whole gallon. You, I, I'm just telling you how to tight how to mix it so you have it. And then you just sip on it for the entire hour prior to training and then throughout training as needed, as desired. And for the longer bouts, if you train over an hour, hour and a half, uh, you'll end up drinking more and more often. And then certainly subsequent to training, if you lose a significant amount of uh, water, like a UFC fighter or a football player, you want to replace the same weight that you lost with water so that your, your, your weigh-ins before and after are equivocal. Gotcha. That's this is this has been so good. I want to dive into a couple of slightly more nuanced topics, you know.